several students from Warwick University Art History Department on the URSS scheme have come to Pontigny to study the building. They all live together, study together and eat together. Uh, we've been recording mason marks at the Cistercian Abbey in Pontigny um, and basically we've been working at night so we use torchlight and sun loungers and binoculars uh, to look at marks that have been inscribed by the masons um, who have cut the stones and stuff um, to look at uh, how they assembled parts of the buildings and how they trained other masons um, to do the work so mm -hmm. yeah it's been it's been fun yeah All we know about its construction is what we can learn from studying the building itself. The fabric of the building is our, is our uh, guide because we have no documents, we have no plans, no drawings, nothing of that sort existed from, uh, from the 12th century. So we have to go by the stones themselves, how they're cut, what size they are, the marks we find on them, how they're assembled, and then looking at the overall structure and seeing how there are changes in the plan in the middle of construction. So we know that they're getting influences from somewhere or they're visiting another site perhaps and coming back and implementing the changes here in Pontigny. What we're hoping to do here is to make a continue a piece of work that Professor Kinder and I started some years ago when we realised that the mason's marks on this building were present in sufficient quantities for us to do some statistical analysis on their distribution. So it was a perfect opportunity to bring a group of students to work on a project since uh, it's a large building, there's a lot to be done, and um, we've discovered the, ways, the best ways of doing it. But having said that, we do have some challenges with this building because it's a very tall building, it's also a very very light building, which means that it's very hard to actually see the mason's marks. So we're going to have to find ways of coping with those, those challenges. And this is where the students can contribute, making suggestions, providing fresh ideas on how we can do this project most effectively. So we've been searching for mason's marks using torches, using binoculars, um, <laughs> using garden furniture. Uh, it's been a, a fantastic experience. Um, we've learned a lot about architectural archaeology, about the techniques, about um, the methods used in, in looking for these things and looking at how they, they actually help to date the building or, or see how they trace the construction of the building. It's good. It's good fun. Yeah, we all uh, we all cook and help each other out. So yeah, we uh, we take it in terms of cook. So it's, it's not too stressful. It's good fun, and we've been eating lots of different stuff like tasty honey. So yeah, it's been good. It's been really good living with, it, with them, and we've all had fun. It, it hasn't been too daunting because you know we're all working together and we're working as a team. So it works well. It works really well. Whilst I'm in Pontigny, I'm working on uh, my dissertation. There's a th what is believed to be a 13th century tomb of St Edmund, and I'm now working towards um, figuring out whether it's the original tomb or not. We've done lots of outward trips. We've been to San Florentown and looked at the, um, the church there, which is beautiful. Um, Jenny also found some exciting construction marks on the building. Um, we've also been to Guédelon, which is a medieval castle in the making, um, which was incredibly interesting and exciting, um, where we actually got to see a castle being made and the techniques, uh, the traditional techniques used to do that, which has helped us with our work here and um, other work as well. Yes, it's, it's really going to help my degree. Um, I mean, I, I, I've been thinking about going into restoration or kind of conservation work, so um, potentially I'd like to work for um, English Heritage or somewhere like that, so this, this is really good. 
um, really good work experience and it's, it, you know, it's so hands-on and practical. I mean, we've been able to do all sorts of stuff from recording the marks to actually looking for them and, you know, we've done site visits and we've actually got a feel for how the masons work. So, um, yeah, no, it's been brilliant. It's been, it's been a really good experience.